Hey guys, welcome, not welcome back to Vet Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Dave, this is Porky. Uh, we're both really excited for this new channel. Hopefully we can keep helping animals, keep showing you how we help them, and um, keep the donations coming in for Van and Pet Project. Um, I'm really excited to keep showing you all these surgeries. Uh, Porky was picked up here in our town by our awesome local animal control officer. He has a broken femur. I'm sure he got hit by a car. Uh, you've seen the surgery before on Vet Ranch. I'm gonna keep showing you the surgeries. I love doing the surgeries. I love showing them to you guys. I think it's important for young people to see what we're doing and just important to see what goes on back here. So once he's asleep, I'll show you a little bit more of the leg itself. Uh, he's ready to go to surgery. He wants to feel better. Uh, he's a good boy. We have him listed as a Husky, but he's probably got a little bit of something else mixed in there. That's all right. We'll show you everything and um, see how it goes. All right, so here's Porky's leg. That is supposed to be there. That's a pretty easy one to see. I like those. We'll show you as we do it. Like I said, I'm not gonna stop showing these surgeries. I think y'all like them too much and I like showing them too much. And I think they're cool. So I'm gonna take a pin and run it through here and then use it. Then I'll kind of lever, lever this back in and keep that pin going straight through the bone. And then these ends will be together and I'll tie wire around it to kind of keep them like, keep the ends together around the pin. It'll be a little bit, it'll be easier to see once I start doing it. All right, so here's the leg, super, super swollen compared to the other side. We don't know how long it's been like this, but we'll see how it goes. So here's the now repaired femur. We didn't enter the joint, which is wonderful. Got very close to the cortex there, but that's okay. You can see it's supporting it here. And then I have my wires, one, two, three, four, around it, um, holding those ends together. So this is really good. I'm really happy. I'm very tired though. So we're gonna get some lunch and let Porky wake up. It's been a couple days. I forgot to show you this x-ray. So I think I had a five o'clock shadow before. So if it looks like I magically shaved, it's because it's a couple days later. Porky's not getting his pen taken out today, and we're also not neutering him today. He still needs to heal. It's pretty subtle, but if you look here, I still want this part to heal a little bit. Everything else is coming along good. The other side of the fracture looks good. And we will need to take that pen out before he's gonna walk really, really good, but he's walking good, so. He's actually gonna spend a few days with us here at the clinic, and then, yeah, a couple weeks we'll Knock him out, if everything's healed, we'll take the pin out, neuter him, and then he will go to his new home. All right, guys, it's been a couple weeks. You see Porky's doing a great job. He's having trouble focusing. Here, here's your bone, come here. Uh, if you look at his leg, you can see the swelling's all gone. It's all healed up, uh, skin-wise. The bones are still healing. Um, that's why he's still got a little bit of a limp, but he's doing really good. He's um, happy. Not happy to eat my treats, happy to get pets though. Um, he's with the foster right now, so we're going to keep tabs on him for a couple more weeks. We'll re x ray him probably in a month, and then um, if he's all healed up, he'll be good to go. What do you think, Porky? So, good job, Porky. Keep working hard on healing. Walking good, Porky. It's been six weeks for Porky, so we're going to. Um, Knock him out. Oh my God, Porky is urinating all over my clinic. So we're going to knock him out and maybe remove his pin. We'll see, we gotta x-ray him first, so uh, TBD. Porky, stop peeing everywhere, man. All right, Porky's been with us here in the hospital a couple weeks, resting and healing, hopefully. So here's his leg, it's healing, it's all healed up. The bone is one solid piece now. There's the pin we put in, there's the wires. So we are going to pull that pin out today. It's not necessarily causing any problems, but it, they can migrate those pins. So there's no reason to keep it in there. It's not adding any stability or anything. So we'll take it out so it doesn't cause problems later. And then we're going to neuter him. Um, I know people ask about that a lot, why we neuter all these dogs. In certain parts of the world, stray dogs aren't a huge problem, but here where I live in Texas, South Texas, it's a huge problem. Just like big dogs wandering around our little town. They don't have owners. Um, they're at risk for contracting diseases like rabies that they can give to people. 
sometimes they're a menace. Um, there are, we've had dogs attack people in this town. So, um, like there's also some for sure health benefits to neutering these guys. Um, so all that added together, it's not because I just like sadistically enjoy castrating animals. Um, it's my job to provide services, public health services that help people and also animals. So that's why we do it. Um, and there's no guarantee that Porky's not going to end up on the streets again. And if he does, we don't want to make him more stray dogs to maybe get rabies or attack people or get hit by cars or whatever. So, uh, it's a multifaceted decision and you know, it could have generational impacts, right? There's not going to be generations of, you know, porky dogs, uh, porky puppies running around out there. So I know sometimes it seems a little unnecessary or barbaric. It's not. I know it's not. I stand by it. It's the right thing to do, especially for here. So uh, we're going to neuter him too. And we'll show you that. Okay. So you can see this bump here. I can feel the pin. This is going to be a really small incision. A little bit of fluid there. That's another reason I always remove these is they can be fairly irritating if they're here like this under the skin. Oh, goodness. It's really easy to pull out. So here are the two testicles. I'm going to do a pre-scrotal incision. Um, this is what I do on essentially all my castrations. I, I do this several times a day, pretty much. That's actually a pretty cute face, Porky. That's why they call you Porky, because you got kind of a pig nose. I never got it before. Porky. I didn't get that before, Porky. It's like you look like a little pig. I don't think this is going to be one with Porky. Porky's too wild. Porky looks great. He's neutered. He's sniffing my boot. He is good to go. And he is going, I think, to Arizona. You like it? I don't know. At least it's a dry heat, I hear, Porky. It's not as humid as here. We're really happy that Porky did so good. We're uh, sad to see him go, but we're happy to see him go to a good home. Porky, have fun in Arizona, man. <laughs> Thanks for donating. <laughs> Keep donating to the Abandoned Pet Project. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you on the next case. All right, Porky.